Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to create hover over effect in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects and let me show you what we'll be creating in this tutorial. So if I drag this shape layer up and down, you can see that anytime I hover over any of my text, the text goes up in scale and also up in opacity. So I'll definitely show you how to set this up, but let me show you another practical example using this technique. So right now I have this shape right here, but anytime I move closer to any of these, something happens. So things get triggered based on the distance of this shape. So if I move this and move it closer, you can see that animation happens. Nothing else triggers it other than the distance. So no keyframes, none of that. So as you can see, it's pretty cool, very easy to set up. So let me show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is select this text right here. I hit T to reveal the opacity. I'm gonna alt click on the stopwatch to activate the expression. And inside here, I'm gonna set some variables. So the first variable is gonna be point A. And point A is gonna be this shape layer right here, the rectangular shape layer. And I want the anchor point of that. So I'm gonna say to comp. And in parentheses, I'm gonna say anchor point. And now anchor point has two coordinates. So it has the X and the Y. So I want the Y coordinate. So that's gonna be index one. So in square brackets, I'm gonna say index one. And then next, I'm gonna set the point B. Okay, and then here, I'm gonna say we are on this layer. So I'm just gonna say this layer. And I'm gonna do the same thing to comp. In the parentheses, I'm gonna say anchor point. And again, I want the Y coordinates. So I'm gonna say in the square brackets, one. Okay. Next, I'm going to use the length expression to find the value between these two points. I'm going to say L, you're going to stand for the length expression. And basically in here, I'm going to say find the length between point A and point B. So it's going to give me the length between these two. So right now, if I let go, you can see that it went to, I guess it's 2% right now because it's not exactly on top. But if I select this shape layer right here and hit P to reveal the position, if I move it away, you can see that because it's based on two points, so right now we're, I don't know, far away, and it's gonna cap it at 100. So we're almost there, but let me show you a few other things we need to set up. So I'm gonna control Z undo, and then next I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do uh, a linear expression. So I'm gonna say linear, and in parentheses I'm gonna say the following. So I'm gonna use the L value here. So whatever value I get from the L here, I'm gonna say anytime it's zero, in other words, anytime it is on top of each other, I want it to be a certain thing. And then when it's 110 pixels away on either sides, I want it to do a certain thing as well. So let's define that in the next portion here. So when it's zero, so when it's exactly on top of each other, I want it to be, let's do 100% in opacity. Now when it's further away, when this shape layer is further away, let's say at 110, that's where it says right here, I want it to be 30% opacity. So let's, let's see if this works. So right now it's on top, so it's it's almost there. But if I move it, you know, down, you can see that it's it went down in opacity. And if I move it the other way, it does the same thing. So that's pretty much it. But let me show you another thing we can do with this. So I'm going to control Z and do this. I'm going to select everything in here and do control C to copy. And next, I'm going to go over here and do hit S to reveal the scale property. And I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch to activate the expression. And I'm going to control V and paste the same expression to my scale expression. Now, the only problem, the scale has two dimensions and, and opacity had one. So we have to convert this to two dimensions, which is, you know, give it some kind of variable, which I'm going to do S. And then in here, next line, I'm going to define it in the square brackets. So I'm going to say X are going to be S and Y are going to be S. So both of these are going to be S. And if I let go, and now if I move it down and up, you can see that it's doing some cool stuff. Now, the, the only problem is I don't want to scale down that much. So I'm going to maybe restrict it to 90, so 90 to 100. So right now, if I move it down, you can see that it's got a gradual scale. That's good. And the other thing you can do, so I'm going to hit U to kind of hide everything. You can duplicate this text. So I'm going to duplicate it, select this and do control D. And I'm going to do shift up arrow six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to select the original one again and control D to duplicate that. And next I'm going to do shift arrow down six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now if I select this shape layer and when I move it around, you can see that it's given us that hover over effect. 
All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at ukramedia.com slash tip32. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.